Hi friends, today we are going to solve Jesse and Cookie's problem from the hip of data structure. Jesse loves cookies and wants the sweetness of some cookies to be greater than the value k. To do this, two cookies with the least sweetness are repeatedly mixed. This creates a special combined cookie with sweetness of 1 into the least sweet cookie plus 2 into the second least sweet cookie. This occurs until all the cookies have a sweetness of value greater than k and given the sweetness of any number of cookies determine the number of operations required. If this is not possible then you would be returning minus 1. This is a basic problem statement. We have to take two of the smallest values in an array. We have to form a formula which is basically the uh, the first smallest number plus 2 into the second smallest number and the resultant we have to append it to the our list and this way to repeat these steps until all the cookies have a value of or all the elements in an array have a value greater than k or we reach a position where it's no longer possible to append to perform that operation and to get a better result so in that case we'll be returning minus one so this problem statements look pretty simple so and we will also have to count how many times we are repeating the process of calculation to, to do that we would be writing an variable which would be let's name it as iterx and we'll be writing okay the most important thing i forgot to write this is a hip problem so no wonder so we have to use hip import hip q so before that hip q dot hippify hippify a so the reason for doing hippify is basically to convert our given array into an hip compatible list i don't know what is called but let's say anything so we'll be checking the currents once you've done the hippify then automatically you can expect the least smallest element will be at the top or a0 so you'll be checking whether a0 is while a0 is smaller than the value of k so we'll be repeating the process what would be the process we'll get back to you so first step is increasing the number of iter value or iter x value then we would be creating two variables a would be hip q dot hip pop so it should be removing the smallest element from the hip q and the second also hip pop which should be removing the second smallest element or in this case the most smallest element because already the least smallest element has been removed and added to the value of a so now to do this we have to do one more simple work we'll create a value or the val the val value would be of a plus the basic formula that you need to do is b into 2 A comma of B file and we will be returning once this step is done we will be returning our val pretty basic OK, 
ओके माय आउटपुट इज थर्टीन इट इज रेंज ओके सॉरी इट बी टर एक्स So we'll be getting the correct result, but still now we have not yet done one thing, which is returning the minus one in case it is not possible. So it will give us throw an error, which is pretty obvious. So I guess few state cases failed. So look at one test case, which is that expected output is minus one. All the other cases are locked, but we could. we could understand that what error could had occurred so the basically the while loop would had reach a position where currently we would not no longer have any more element left to perform and hip pop operation so in that case it will throw an error so basically the b, b the b region would have an error so to do that you can also write a try catch block so try and if anything occurs then we could we could easily understand it. basically anything would occur when we have reached the end of an of the list so we could print pretty much return minus 1 one more way of doing would be to keep a track of how many elements are present in that the a and how many iterations we have made but i think there would be too much of logic which we could easily be handled with using a try except block so let's check the code i hope it runs perfectly so number 5 Yep. So as you can see, all the test cases have been passed successfully. So in this case, this problem statement is correct, and our answer is correct, not the problem statement. So it was pretty interesting problem to be very fair. Although it was easier because we have already solved one problem from the hip, which was U hip one. So that problem really really helped us to simplify this example. but as always i pretty much hope that there would be an easier way of solving the same problem with a lesser time complexity so please comment below if you have an better way of solving the problem and as always thanks for watching the video stay tuned